Hey everyone, Kim Chika here. Welcome to the last Indie Watch that I'm recording before GDC. I think you guys, with the way this will schedule, be scheduled, uh, will be seeing this after I have arrived and hopefully we'll be immersed in indie games for hours and hours a day. Uh, but today's video, today's Indie Watch, is going to be focusing on the Indie Mega Booth at GDC. The Mega Booth has been around since about 2012, and every show that I go to, they seem to take the largest space on the Expo Hall or in the Expo Hall, so I'm very excited to see what they bring to GDC, and as a side note to PAX East, which I am have confirmed I'm going to be at PAX East. Yay! As with the other indie watches for pre-GDC, uh, I'm going to be featuring games that I'm most anticipating. So games that I haven't necessarily gotten to play, or maybe only gotten to play a little bit, and uh, not focusing on games that I've already featured prior. At the very end with all of the videos, I'm gonna try and pick my top 10 games from all of GDC. We'll see how that goes. Um, but for now, be sure to use the description box um, because there are links below that link you to everything um, that I talk about in this video, the games featured in the intros and outros, and a link to the event so you can take a look at that full list yourself and check out some of the games that I didn't have a chance to mention. Carto. What happens in a game where moving the map becomes just as, if not potentially more important than moving your character? In Carto, you can move and rotate map pieces to manipulate your view and available interaction points with the world. This game looks so fascinating and is giving me slight board game vibes, so I'm very excited to see how these mechanics play out. Carto is coming to PC and potentially other platforms in Winter 2018. Felix the Reaper Dancing is one of my favorite activities in the world, I have to admit sometimes even more than video games. So when I heard Felix the Reaper was dancing its way to Indie Mega Booth, I was ecstatic. This puzzle game will have you tapping your feet as you find a way to guide humans into the afterlife. Well, I guess you're killing them. As well as seeing if Felix can find a little time for maybe some possible romance. Felix the Reaper is coming to Mac and PC in 2018. The Sigma Theory from the creators of space exploration game Out There comes another title, this time hitting much closer to home. Only four? Four is a new technology it's has been best. invented and it affords the ability to wipe out total war countries war? and economic systems, the even gain immortality. Only a select few scientists weapons. can control this power, and the as one of those, you have to determine how it should be used and ensure anyone who stands in your way is taken care of. The next Cold War has begun and you'll influence how it will end. The Sigma Theory is coming out for PC and Mac sometime in 2018. Million Onion Hotel. Part of the quirk and appeal of Million Onion Hotel, say that five times fast, is not knowing exactly what you're getting into beforehand. This is a time-based, whack-a-mole, onion-filled puzzle game with an odd sense of humor that's very kooky and surprisingly sometimes very adult. Just go with it. It's a mobile game, so it's perfect for commute, and it's already out now for Android and iOS. Shape of the World Especially after a long day of work, meditative games hit the spot, and Shape of the World is another one to add to the list. In this title, there are no timers, no specific goals, just the growth and expansion of the world as you explore. Your wanderings influence the development of this world around you, and the procedurally shifting and developing universe will encourage you to continue moving forward or even retrace your steps to discover something new as you return. Unique color palettes and a relaxing soundtrack round off this title, and you can find Shape of the World on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that like or subscribe button, and if you want to see more indie game coverage, be sure to follow me on Twitter, at KimChika25, and if you like to hang out in live streams, if you want to see me live in person, sort of, be sure to go to my channel at twitch.tv slash kimchika. That's where I stream Monday through Thursday, most Monday through Thursdays if I'm not traveling. And um, I play indie games and relax, and so it's a great chance to see games featured here, as well as games that I haven't gotten to make content for but still really enjoy playing. And I will see you in the next video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.